just call it how I see it. I'm a little rough around the edges sometimes. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Five Hole Frank here. It's been a while. You know, like this song. Um, I'm not going to keep pumping out all my rips of metal allure. I'm sure you've seen enough of it. So, we'll just take a little trip back in time and rip a hobby of 1819. Series 2. For some trendy young guns. There's some quality stuff in these boxes, especially with the new season kicking off. Um, there are plenty of chasers now. So, get right into it. Hope for a nice little banger, maybe a UD exclusive young gun of a bigger name. I still have yet to pull a Kata hat, but we'll see if that changes. Um, yeah, I've had some I've had some decent pulls off camera, um, but I'm not gonna keep streaming the same stuff or uploading videos of the same stuff. So it is what it is. I mean, you guys don't want to keep watching me rip Allure or Metal. And yeah, so figured I'd do a little throwback and maybe chase something nice. These were at a good price. A lot lower than the internets. So, that is 1819 up at Deck Series 2. And we'll get right into it, okay? It's been, it's been like a week and a half since I've done a video. Come on, UD exclusive, big name. That's what we're looking for. Clear cut, you know, Easter egg, things of that nature. But, I actually do love the look of this set, even the bases, so... Not a bad rep, especially if the price is right. All right. Chara Trocek. Monahan, Bobby Ryan, Maki Rookie. Yuso Ricola. Non paralleled. Yelchenyak, Mike Green. Oh, base, 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 base. And. You gotta, you gotta figure the best way to cut these. I always use scissors just because I don't pack mash when I rip them so that I can preserve the corners the best to my ability. Because pack mashing can bend the corners. All right. Let's see what we have. Robin Leonard. He's been out, and Sorokin has been playing very well for the Islanders. We've got a John Gilmore, related to Happy, as our first young gun. Happy Gilmore's brother, that actually made it to the NHL. Nice pull. Nice pull there. As we all know, Happy Gilmore did not make it into the NHL. However, was a successful golfer. His younger brother, John, however, did make it and is a young gun. One of six. One of six pulled. All right, come on. Tooks, Bo Horvat, Shea Theodore, and... You saw Valamaki, number two, young gun. You saw Valamaki. Uh, Brad Richards. I think something stuck to Brad. Thomas Tata, Brandon McNabb, and Chris Crow. Oh, I did upgrade my Elvis Merzlikens young gun from a 9 to a 10. Mm, that was nice. And I did invest in a Tristan Jari. At a very nice price. 
if you've seen the market is now young gun crazy looking for some of the ones that they missed or went under the radar i.e. this set there's a lot of guys in this set that people are now like oh I want his young gun because they're stepping up for their team if there's injuries or whatnot you don't need a rare and we've got a Kiefer Sherwood base Maki rookie no parallel Mikel Bodker Spooner I did grab um, a Ryan Donato PSA 10 young gun very cheap um, and he's been playing well on the Seattle Kraken. Looks like he gained some weight, and it looks like he's starting to play his own game, which I feel like he was a good prospect for the Bruins, but they didn't let him kind of play his style, and they really held him back, and he bounced team to team, but it looks like he's doing good work on the Seattle Kraken. I just don't want these to stack. Well, usually the older, the older ones kind of stick a little bit, so... They've been sitting somewhere. Ilya Samsonov. Portrait. These portraits look nice. A lot nicer than other series. Ian Cole. Calvin DeCon. Next pack. We are cruising on through, looking for a big young gun, maybe in a high gloss, maybe an exclusive, maybe clear cut. This one's obviously not going to be clear cut because we would see it if it is a young gun. Joel Arison, heck, Hampus Lindholm, Kata Hutton, Jacob Truba, and Sam Steele. There's some good prospects on the Ducks that are actually playing very well. Um, Troy Terry, um, I think Sam Steele. There's a few others that are really stepping it up for a team that they didn't have much promise and they're getting the job done. And by done, I mean scoring points. And I mean, they're not winning the games per se, but they're showing their talent essentially so some decent players that are surfacing from later sets and we are on our portrait run which is a, a great sign if we can get it unstuck you can already see who it is but Victor Hedman Eric Carlson Philip Grubauer Joe Thornton Beardless and Dylan Sakira all our portraits are rookies is there something stuck behind you? Yep, there was. Tyler Sagan. Tyler Sagan. Random. Prime. Alright. Usually I've been noticing a trend that the portraits are on a run of like your four packs in a row. Which, I mean, if you get it in the beginning, it's great. If you get it at the end, uh, stinks. But I've also noticed, I've had, I've had boxes that didn't have the four. They were, um, there was like one missing because of an Easter egg, which I'm okay with. Um, and then our final UD portrait, Henry Jolaharu. So, portraits are gone. Cross that off the list. We've got four canvases. We've got Milan Luchik smiling. Ooh, look at him. He scored a goal the other day. It was amazing. Stone hands. Figured a way out to pot one. I mean, he's a former Bruin, but he, he kind of does have stone hands. All right. Come on. Give us the goods. Evangie Kuznetsov. 
Maybe we got a young gun, but I just don't want to expose anything. Alright. Koozie. Johnny T. Buck off. Paul Stastny and Rob Thomas, the lead singer of Matchbox 20. Let's go. He's actually a trendy one. People are starting to notice him more. Um, I've had a few of his items for a little while, and they are now being sold because he's now getting the attention that he probably already deserved. But there's a lot of star talent on that team, but he's stepping up with O'Reilly out due to COVID, and... So it's a lot a lot of it is people just stepping up. Marcus Johansson, Oli Mata, um, Matthias Janmark, and a Michael Rasmussen. Detroit has another slew of young guns that are being sought after due to um, just a rebuild of a team, but they're they're showing a lot of promise. Um, these teams that you would never expect that had young guns selling for two bucks are now sought after and the value is skyrocketing on them. We have three young guns left. Unless we get like an exclusive, then I believe we get another one. And also we have a chance at a canvas. We got a thick card. We have a thick card. Oh, what are you thick card? All right, Michael Grabner, checklist. Louis Erickson and a Boston Bruins rookie, Jeremy Lazon. Was he taken from us, from the Kraken? Who was it? Was it Lazon that like they took him? I'm trying to think, no. Yeah. yeah, I think it was Lazon. He was playing awesome and developed very well as a defenseman and I believe, was it him or? I'm trying to think of the other one. Yeah, I think it was Jeremy Lazon. No, it wasn't Lazon. Um, I can't get it. Uh, and I'm just videotaping it, so I'm not going to sit here and just fumble around in my brain. Um, but nice little rookie patch material from Jeremy Lazon. It was the unparalleled version. So, just a base. Usually the jerseys would be patched and serial numbered, like it would be an actual crest or whatever. All right, cruising along. Corey Schneider, Jonathan Bernie, and Matt Luff. Oof. That's four out of six. Come on, give me something. I hope you're saving something big for the end. I mean, Rob Thomas isn't bad. I mean, the selling point of this box is what some stores were selling Series 1 for. Um, so, no brainer. Grabbed it up. I usually don't care too, too much for the um, Series 2 with the OPG inserts. And we've got a Matt's Sundin UD Canvas. And that is a Retro Alumni. So, nice little canvas. A little short print insert. We've got a few of those, the retired canvas. They're kind of hit or miss. I mean, if you find a collector that appreciates the um, older players and still collects currently, um, might be a nice fit in their collection. However, there are few and far between. All right. 
see what we've got. Red Pesci, Justin Falk, Franz Nielsen, UD, Campus, UD Canvas, Hampus Lindholm. On the Ducks. I'm going to put that one just right there. Just because it's not one of the um, higher numbered short print ones. Alright. Cruising along. We still have... We still have two Young Guns remaining. Come on, bigger name. Parallel clear cut. Like, give us a exclusive or, I mean, a high gloss. I'm not asking too, too much. Sid the Kid, always a good time. Canvas checklist. Looks like we've got OV, Breaking Records, love it, and uh, Vladimir Tarasenko. Mm, it's something stuck behind Sid the Kid. Mark Giordano. Charlie Coyle, Dylan Larkin. The King. Nice wave, goodbye. Great career. So it looks like we're cruising through our canvases right now. Still two young guys in play. Two young guns in play. All right. Bjorkstrom, Tom Wilson, and Jonathan Druin Canvas. Second year. No, nope. I'm way off. Four years. Those are the canvases. No canvas young gun. But we did get a alumni. Okay, second to last round. Eight packs remaining. Two of them containing young guns. No portraits, no canvases. Still the marquee rookies or just marquee players with the OPG update. Let's see what we've got. Come on, stickies. All right, Victor Arvison, Jay Gardner, Corey. Oh, we've got a triple exposure Johnny T photo variant. I believe, yeah. Hmm. Let's see that. I think I do. Yeah, definitely a. Definitely the um, photo variant, triple exposure. They um, it's a nice little um, insert. Um, these sh I have a ton of short print um, and photo variants from other sets that don't seem to sell too well or have any sort of sales at all. Like I have. Um, Henrik Lundqvist. Come on. Get in there without screwing up the corner. There we go. I have a Henrik Lundqvist um, from 1920. I have Tyler Sagan and Elias Pettersson. But that's pretty cool. I've never pulled um, one from this set. So. Some short prints, alumni canvas, Johnny T, triple exposure. I know there is a set that just has a bunch of triple exposures that aren't short prints. However, I believe that is a short print. All right, 
Looks like it's young gun time. Come on. Nicholas Roy. Roy Munson. You are killing me. We have one young gun in play. Unless there is an exclusive which would cancel the six young gun rule because exclusives do not count as your young gun. Same with a canvas, same with high gloss, clear cut, because anything can be that variant. And we're on to our last young gun. And I can't get it. There we go. Tyson Yost, Jason Zucker, Brad Marshawn, and Peter Morazic, followed up by Nicholas Abel Kubel. Damn. Rob Thomas, the lead singer of Matchbox 20, is our top one right now. We have five packs remaining. Hopefully we don't finish with all OPG updates. Maybe there's a Easter egg or something hidden in there, even though we did get a short print and a canvas short print. It's not gonna be the greatest box. I'm just trying to get some more content while we wait for SPA. Patiently waiting. I do have a master case reserve of, and there's Tyler Bozak in the base. No parallels on those yet. He's off screen. I'll put him right here, next to the canvases. And slightly adjust. There we go. And bases. Please do not be just just a bunch of uh, OPGs to uh, finish off. We're looking for hits. We're fishing. Lack of content. Brent Burns, Brendan Smith, and Jordan Cairo. Trending would have been nice and. The young gun, but I think it's the wrong series. Keith and Cade. Connor Sherry. Three packs remain. We need a Hail Mary. Time's running out on the clock. And it looks like it's another OPG insert. I'm trying to think of how many per box. Because. We're already at, I think we're at six. All right, Chris Kunitz, Christian Fisher, Brandon Dumoulin, Nick Bonino, and Max Domi in a retro OPG update. Brandon Sutter, Elias Lindholm, Gustav Nyquist. Come on, Lady Luck, on the turn or the river. OPG update. Just, don't, just stop, stop sticking. There you go. Maxim Comtois on ZX in a retro. And the river, we're praying, come on, please be something. I don't think so. Womp, sorry. 
Not every box is a nice box, as I always say. You win some, you lose some, but I just wanted to put some more content out fishing for something decent. Unfortunately, we did not get there. Michael Rasmussen, silver variant. And David Pasta. Nice finish. Um, anyways, yep, yeah, that was it. Getting some content out. Um, Rob Thomas, nice pull. Um, we had an alumni canvas and a photo variant, triple exposure, Johnny T. Uh, the other young guns, uh, yeah. could have been better. Thanks for watching. More to come. I will try my best to get stuff out until the release of SPA. Thank you for watching. Five Full Frank out.